And then you went to um, speak with Professor Procardi. Uh, you were saying, I think, to ask his help for his help. Uh, yes, I uh, asked him to make the uh, advocate of the devil. Uh, so what I asked him... I don't understand. Um, the, the advocate, uh, the attorney of the devil, we say. Uh, oh, devil's advocate. Devil's advocate, exactly. Uh, so I, because uh, I had to decide if uh, to give to this issue uh, the full time. So at that point, uh, and it was the first time that I talked about, uh, to, to anybody about uh, uh, this work. And, um, and I, uh, I knew uh, from the papers that he was working uh, on, on, uh, on LENR and specifically he was working with nickel and hydrogen. And so I phoned him and I uh, um, told him what I was doing and I, asked, uh, and I, I told him I need somebody that uh, um, I will pay your consulting to uh, explain to me what is wrong in what I am doing. Uh, so you will explain to me where am I wrong, uh, uh, why this is not uh, a, a strange output of energy, um, uh, and you, you, you have to convince me because I am giving too many time to this issue. And at this point, <clears throat> I have to decide if to abandon all I am doing and give uh, all my time to this or not. Because uh, I am in a, at a turn, on, the, on that turning point beyond which you cannot do other things but that. It's, it's like when you decide to make a profession. At that point, you, okay, this is my profession. Um, so, what did you show him? And what was his response? Okay. Uh, uh, I met him, uh, it was July uh, of 2007. And um, I, um, uh, I have uh, given him my papers, uh, my papers with the explication of uh, what I did. Which papers? Uh, not public papers, just uh, the data sheets that I had collected in my experiments. Uh, uh, not the public papers, uh, not, not, I, I, I never, as I, I repeat that, I never uh, made any, any uh, publication, etc., etc. But, but I had my papers where I collected all my, all the results of uh, the experiments, etc. I um, uh, explained to him the basic principle of uh, uh, my uh, reactor, the, 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 the principle of the, regarding the pressure, etc., etc. And his response? His response um, uh, has been, um, if I remember, uh, the, the same day he did not, uh, uh, he said, I am curious of all this, I, I want to go through this and, uh, and, uh, and, and I will let you know. The day after, I called him um, uh, a telephone, uh, um, he was in his holidays, uh, because it was July, he was uh, in... Uh, um, uh, in uh, his uh, house uh, in the, uh, in, uh, at the seaside and, um, and he told me that uh, he has found the things uh, very interesting and, uh, and, and he uh, asked to meet me again then we met again and decided to go together through a series, through series of experiments that we made from then on using uh, the, the the, the, the toy that uh, I, I had. Okay, so, um, and then I'm gonna jump forward in time now, and then we arrive at March last year, and you and Professor Filcardi published your paper. I think it was February. Okay. It, was it March? I don't remember what. You probably wrote it in February, the, uh, the date But, but the date is March. Yeah. So, and then, now it's been uh, a little more than one year, and since that time, have you learned of any major errors or corrections that are required from that paper? Good, good question. The, uh, we have worked a lot because uh, uh, we have worked on, uh, uh, on the reactors that we are preparing to go uh, toward an industrial production. I, um, I can say that uh, 
I would not say errors. I, I would say that now we have much clearer idea about the theory which is behind the operation of the reactor because no, I'm not interested in theory. Just, exactly. just so so any major errors just so uh, any major errors or major corrections. I would not I would not say major corrections or major errors. I would say evolution. Okay, there's always small things. Right? Evolution. Okay. So I think now we jump forward uh, a little bit We'll come to um, February and uh, March of this year, and I've been, as you know, I've been reading carefully the reports from Levy, uh, Bianchini, uh, Essen Kurlander, and Mats, Le Mats Lewin. So far, it looks like the most complete and clearest reports are actually from the journalist, Mats Lewin. Very, very clear uh, report. Uh, Essen Kulander has a lot of clear data too, and um, in Levy's report, uh, January 21, uh, he said that the most likely source of error, possible error, he thought, was liquid in steam, and he said that uh, there was only maybe one or two percent liquid in the steam. That's your recollection? Uh, this is uh, what we measured also. Uh, the water, the residual water in steam uh, has been measured 1.7. The maximum amount that has been uh, measured with the specific instruments has been 1.7% uh, percent in weight. Weight, not, not volume, but weight. In weight. Okay. Um, and um, that the uh, Galantini, Galantini. Yes, Dr. Galantini has been the, the specialist who came to measure, uh, if, I don't, if I remember well, in the 14th of January, he came to measure and he repeated uh, later again uh, the, uh, sometime, the, probably during the Kullander uh, 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 test, uh, he returned to measure again the, the, the steam. And um, the water residual in the steam. You have reports available of uh, Galantini's? Uh, uh, no, Galantini did not make a report. He made a reading and uh, gave us the reading. Then the reading that he made has been put in the report that has been published about the test. He didn't give you any report? No. Okay. Um, and now, why, can you tell me, in, in your view, why Levy said that the most likely source of error uh, would be liquid, liquid in the steam? Why? Because uh, it is uh, because uh, it is right. Because um, uh, the 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 only thing that can what, do, do you remember the calculations that I made yesterday in the in the blackboard, even if it is white uh, actually, and uh, um, the, in these calculations uh, we must consider that not all the water becomes a steam. Uh, we know that uh, we know from uh, um, also from the uh, manufacturers of boilers, uh, uh, etc., etc. The maximum amount of uh, um, of water that you can have in the steam when you uh, have a temperature of uh, 100.1 Celsius degrees is 5 percent. This is the maximum possible uh, water that you can have. We measured 1.7. You know, uh, the error, uh, the, the, the possibility of error uh, can, can be that uh, you can have more than 1.7, you could also arrive to have 5%. Uh, this means that uh, from the efficiency that uh, we have calculated yesterday, uh, which is, I remember to you, we, we said, if I can go to the, to the black, no, uh, you remember that we have, uh, we said that we have produced 4,906 watt hour per hour. If you want to be uh, absolutely sure not to uh, over evaluate, you can just cut the 5%. So it's, it's, it's a linear relationship? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so at that point, if you take off, yes, it's linear. 
uh, if you take off from 4,900 less 5%, you will have the 500 of 4,900 is 245, so you make 4,906 less uh, point two forty five is for th four thousand and uh, say six hundred. And this instrument that Galantini used uh, to measure the humidity, uh, it, um, it, it looks at the steam that's coming out and it measures the. It measures the. It measures. I do not know how it works. Uh, honestly, it is a, a probe made uh, uh, made exactly to measure the, 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 the steam, the, 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 uh, the, the water residual in the steam. And is a probe uh, with a filter. The filter takes, intakes the steam and measures the water, the, the water that is inside. And, uh, and so actually, I do not know exactly how it works, but you know. Okay. In any way, uh, was a, a somebody, uh, there have been some polemics about the fact that uh, the, uh, for somebody the probe was not fit for the temperatures, but uh, it is just, a, uh, um, it is just uh, the probe is fit for the steam. So. And I think if I understand what you said, um, because I didn't see this 1.7% uh, uh, subtracted. Uh, uh, yes, in the report of uh, Kulanderessen, uh, you will see it. I saw, I saw the value, yes. but I did not see that it was subtracted. Uh, it, per perhaps because it's so trivial, it's, okay, it's, it's a small factor. Okay. You can say, uh, you know, uh, if you say that the efficiency uh, the, 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 the amount of energy produced is more or less 5%, you just make less 5% and at that point you are safe.